Hunter Smiley. Wait, I'm sorry. Is he calling Ruby to see if Ruby wants to go over to his house and hang out? I will call him over just to simply like beat him up. Hello everyone, it is me, Jessica. Uh, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm trying to get a hair off of me because, you know, just hair everywhere. Um, but today we are going to be diving into some not so berry. And over the last month, like the month of June, I've been kind of focusing on the Snowy Escape Let's Play. So things like all of the other families that I play have been getting like mixed in there. And I feel like we haven't played Not So Berry in like three weeks. Um, it's been too long. I'm really happy with the progress that we have done with Snowy Escape, but I'm like honestly really excited to get back to the usual grind of seeing our families more often. So anyways, I'm excited to play today, especially because I feel like it's been forever. Um, we're going to really focus on Ruby and trying to get a first kiss and maybe even like a first boyfriend or girlfriend actually solidified for her um, because I want to start working and kind of chipping away at her aspiration. Um, we'll kind of touch back over the red gin as well as we get into it. Um, but also I'm wearing like my best mint athleisure. I've got like, I mean, it's kind of a green sports bra in my like tank top here. Um, you know, trying to, to really channel all of the mint energy that I can for Pepper because I'm going to send her off to work from this point on. She's just going to work hard every day at work. Um, I think she's currently level seven of her career, the scientist career that she is supposed to max out. Um, so we just really need her to get those promotions and I am kind of tired of like going to work with her. I don't know if I just suck at this game or what it is, but we're still trying to get her freaking career maxed out, but I, uh, I'm hopeful that, you know, at some point, maybe we'll get there. Maybe not. Anyways, um, hi. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm super excited to get going with this, so let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, guys, um, I'll go ahead and press play, but they're like awkwardly standing here, Pepper and Diego. I don't know what's going on there. Also, I'm sure you can hear my daughter already. Um, look, she took a nap this morning at like 11 a.m. What? She doesn't nap that early. Like what? I don't even understand. Okay, but she is level seven of her career. Um, I don't, she's had all the breakthroughs that she needs to. So I'm just really hoping that she will get that taken care of because honestly, we have Diego over here. Oh, that's his aspiration. Um, his career, he is actually at level nine and will probably max out, not probably, he will absolutely max out his career before she will. Um, where is your dog at? Oh my goodness. Okay, get, come wake up Booger, get Booger on the leash, do all of those things. Look here, Ruby, I'm just going to need for you to not like leave Booger on the street like that. Um, also, I did give Booger some Oofa, red, droop. like, kind of bow ties. I think, actually, his collar for walking around is not um, a bow tie, because I don't think you can actually do that. We'll leash him up, and then we'll get back to the house. I guess I don't need to press it twice. Um, oh, okay. So they were actually right by the house. What is the maid doing out here? Anyways, um, <clears throat> okay, so we have the food set here. I think let's make sure we have it set on every hour. Um, oh, also, guys, I changed up some stuff in the apartment because of the Dream Home Decorator pack. So I'm pretty sure our, like, this rug is new. The stove here is different. I think I changed it all together from, like, the Parenthood one, I think. I think I changed it because that like red on that stove matches better with the cabinets and the fridge. This is the country kitchen kit fridge. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just felt like it looks a bit better in here to me. Um, I gave the new stools here, which I know that the, like the stools, they don't match the like kitchen red, 
But I assumed the like the, the stools kind of bring in the red paneling on the wall behind it. Um, and then off in here, we actually have like a built-in storage area now. Um, and I moved like the table around. I think I moved it closer out, uh, like out from the wall a little bit. So we could put all those red like built-in storage caddies in. Um, yeah, I, I didn't really change that much, but I definitely changed a little bit of the stuff. Um, okay, I really need to pay attention here. Apparently we need to unleash the douche and then take a speedy shower, I guess. Um, does she, what is she doing? Oh, it's Harvest Fest. Okay. Okay. Um, I guess we can actually have Pepper come over here, cook the tofurkey because pepper is vegan i'm you guys are probably going to hear a lot like of that. my daughter in this part and you're just gonna have to be fine with that because uh yeah like i said she napped this morning and since then we have been awake all day we have been partying all day it has just been a day okay so she is a c student her homework is complete um what I wanted to kind of focus on though is the, oh, the little poppers going up the stairs too. Okay, so I'm grabbing my notebook. Because um, Jen too, Rose Jen here for Ruby. Oh, also the, the computer area. This desk is different. And then I had like the two tiny living desk in here, but I just changed it to the one desk because I feel like it's less crowded and um, there's like the mirror behind it so that you can kind of work on your charisma skill. Um, I thought there was something on the wall. No, just the Bob Pancakes poster that's that's up here still. That is actually from Pepper when she lived in City Living, or City Living, in San Maichuno to begin with. Very angry. Why are you so mad? She acquired the mischief skill. Yeah, my daughter, this is what she does when she's in a good mood. She just talks an awful lot. Don't forget to pay your rent on time. You don't forget to pay your rent. Um, do we have rent to pay? Is that like a, oh. Akira Kibo. Does he live by us? Um, respectful introduction, maybe. I'm kind of interested in the idea um, of getting Ruby pregnant like ASAP. ASAP. <laughs> okay, but Pepper is cooking. I love, seriously, the red and the like turquoisey mint. They look so good together. I love it. I love it. Okay, okay. Gen 2. So you're supposed to have only one child, master the career and complete the aspiration. Uh, the career being politician and the aspiration being serial romantic. Uh, you're supposed to leave someone at the altar and then get married as an elder, not necessarily to that same person. Um, but maybe just like realizing that you weren't ready or that it wasn't the right person or whatever everyone in this house is angry right now i'm actually not sure what the problem is like why is she angry actually pepper why are you angry noisy neighbors okay okay um sell it to a collector maybe he can come out here and bang on the door pound on the door i feel like that's a very diego thing to do and then ruby is oh what is i'm sorry excuse me um so what is she's doing something mischievous here oh she's insulting him oh no Oh, well, you are taking right after your mother. Um, I actually just like, I know you can't actually flirt with young adults, but I wanted you to not have a negative reaction with him. Uh, apologize, please. Is that Akira's apartment? I am not really sure. Um, be thankful. 
Oh, uh, it is, isn't like it? Miko, he lives with yeah. Miko, right? I can't really remember who his roommates are, but that sounds right, honestly. She's a young adult too, right? Yeah. Okay, well, we honestly like need a teen for this to work. And I think we met one a couple parts back. Um, is it? No, that's a young adult. Okay, okay. Darling, teen, Darling Walsh. Okay, we might have to go for Darling because she is the only teen that we know. Um, invite to hang out at current lot. And then I guess we'll just kind of leave Akira alone because we're feeling very angry right now and we don't really need to like ruin anything. Can you like tell Mrs. Miko here to like be quiet? Complain angrily about noise. Uh, friendly? Complain angrily about noise. That is a very Diego thing to do. Um, honestly, I'm kind of like, I, I feel like I need to get in here a little bit because there's some stuff going on. There's just some stuff going on. He's yelling at her. They're trying to get to know one another. Look, can you can just keep it down? Just keep it down. He's like, oh, sweet. She listened. Thank you. Oh, Darling is here. Wait, I'm sorry. Did Darling just come out of that apartment? Um, okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and ask about day. Just do a little bit. Oh, that was sent home. No, do not do that. <laughs> um, maybe be thankful with darling. Okay, well, Pepper, did you finish your toe, Furky? Why don't you go ahead and call to Grand Meal? Oh, Darling is feeling playful. Okay. Okay. Um, maybe brighten her day. Their day? I'm, I do apologize if I ever use the incorrect pronouns. I am definitely trying to get better at that and familiarize myself better with the appropriate time and stuff for that those things um and i know that darling was added into the game to like bring that diversity so oh here we are just freaking living it up in our red apartment here in the city everyone is in we just shot off the side of the oh no we're we're gone we're gone forever okay but here we go Everyone else is inside and Pepper, Pepper, Ruby is just like, you know, we're just going to hang out right here. Just feeling really good about life. Just feeling the most good. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh-huh. I am honestly, I can't get over how pretty she is. She just turned out so pretty. Um, which Diego Lobo, right? Okay. Because he's not, okay, Kibo, Lobo. Those, they kind of sound similar, but they're not related. Um, we do need to maybe try and get to know Darling here a bit better. Come. Um, compliment outfit. I really just need to talk to you. I really just need, complain about parents. I don't know. Just honestly really would like to try and give you a smooch maybe get to know so what is up on her aspiration first oh uh, we need to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and then we need um to go on two dates okay so i think that i like the idea of her getting pregnant um pretty quickly like immediately almost after she is a young adult and um obviously it is more it probably is not an accident uh, and not meant to happen kind of thing um what are you doing like good come up here and go to sleep it's not that difficult it's really not okay Diego's just perfect I really I can't ever bash the man he just does everything all on his own he's about to max out his career he's great 
Um, a flattered ring. Can we try and like, well, I've honestly I've never flirted as a teen. Uh, maybe ask if Sago. Can we just talk to you a bit about your your romantic situation? Oh, compliment appearance. Okay, darling is single. Well, I think you're looking real good with your your baseball on unflirty. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, maybe. Reveal crush? That seems a bit much. Maybe just try to flirt. I don't really know. Like I said, I've never done this as a teen, so I don't know the best way to make this happen. We'll try to flirt, though. We'll try to make this happen. I would like to get a boyfriend or girlfriend set up for her, so I'm just kind of going for it. Goodness me. Maybe compliment appearance again. We do have a bit of a pink bar, so that's kind of honestly nice. Can we try to kiss her hands? Kiss their hands? I... Guys, if you do know uh, the Green. appropriate pronoun here for darling, please let me know because I'm not sure if I'm I'm wrong or not. I could be overthinking it because I do love to do that. Okay, um, look, Dad, I am just simply trying to kiss some hands here. Um, I'm really hoping that Diego can just keep walking on by, like, just don't even, Dad, Dad awkward can you can you not can you not Dad? um okay uh maybe blow a kiss look here pippa stop mowing at me under smiley wait i'm sorry is he calling ruby to see if ruby wants to go over to his house and hang out i will call him over just to simply like beat him up like straight up, dude, I will beat you up. Um, offer a rose. Like I genuinely feel like, oh wait, litter box. You're thinking litter box. Uh oh, guys, did I forget a litter box? I really thought I didn't, but maybe I did. Um, Cause I've got the kitty tree here. Um, okay, I got kitty beds like all over the place. I think I did. Okay. Let me save real quick. I'm gonna get a cat box and then we're gonna jump right back into the flirting situation. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and press, well, uh, no, no I'm not, she's tired. Um, romantic, can we? Ooh, let's try first kiss. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. It worked. Oh my gosh, it worked. She looked really nervous, but it worked. It worked. Yes. Okay, now, darling, weigh me, wait, weigh me. May we ask you to be in a relationship with us? Actually, it doesn't look like we can. Do we need to be like closer? Um, no, no. Um, discuss interest, maybe? We're feeling very flirty. She's complaining about something, though. Ooh, ask to be girlfriend. Please? Please be in a relationship with us, even if just for a little while. You do seem like a very nice person, though. So I'm just kind of curious. Um, would you? Okay. Yeah. Be in a relationship? <laughs> yes. Oh, look how cute they are. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, look, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my little rubiness for being <laughs> our very first relationship. Um, it's probably going to be a long, really confusing road for me as far as that goes. But um, thank you. You know, thank you. Grenea. Romantic. Um, attempt to seduce. I don't even know what that would mean. Um, 
it just embrace a bit more. I really just, I want for Miss Darling here to really feel like, you know, we, li we like her. Because for right now, we do. <laughs> okay, and then it looks like everyone is going to get going, which is perfectly fine. Um, I went ahead and I just put the uh, cat box right here, so it's just tucked underneath that tree. And I feel like it fits in really well right there. Um, Pepper, what you doing? You are going over here to talk to your man, chatting with Diego, singing about Harvest Fest, huh? Oh, she earned 1,200, almost 1,300 simoleons on her day off. Oh, they're so cute. The fact that they just sang to each other, that was adorable. That was adorable. Uh, where uh, is Pippa? I kind of want for Pepper to actually maybe come up here, play with the laser. Can we hug and then like give a treat? Uh oh, she canceled out my play with laser. Give treat and then play with laser. Dang it. <laughs> Diego, what you doing? Oh, he's actually tired. Okay, well, we'll let him sleep. She's sleeping. Oh, what? No, get out of that bed. What are you doing? Cause she she can totally sleep here, right? Maybe she can't sleep on uh, the left side of the bed like I have her assigned. I wonder if this chair is in the way. I did not play test it, so I'm really not sure. Someone was just calling her, but I'm not actually sure who it was. Um, oh, but we got some love in with little Pippa. She was just giving her a hug. Oh, what? Can you not play? Um, okay, we'll brush Pippa then, maybe? And then maybe just pet her? Oh, gosh. Pet. There we go. Okay, well, we're getting a brush in. We're getting some pets in. Um, what are you... What's going on here? Oh... He's feeling strangely dazed as though his, he has hit his head. We, I don't think we did any voodoo though, like towards him, at least to my knowledge. Ruby, why are you up? I guess I need to pay attention here. Can she not access her bed? Oh no, oh no. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna tell her to nap a couple of times here on the couch then. Honestly, not ideal, but I've already been into build mode once. I'm not really trying to do it again. Uh, so that's where I'm at. We're gonna just kind of speed through the night, hopefully a bit. Okay, it is two o'clock in the morning and I think that Ruby honestly just isn't going to be sleeping that much. Uh, oh, apparently Harvest Fest was awful. <laughs> Look, we had a meal and that's really all you can expect from me sometimes, okay? What do you want from me? <laughs> um, I really just want for her to go to work. Ooh, she's feeling very confident though. Um, first kiss. Decorations. It all just went away actually, but uh, the awful holiday is uh, apparently creeping up. Uh oh, and now she's got her hot headed trait that's apparently causing her some issues. Uh, but she is about to level up her charisma there. It is actually level four. Level four. Okay, well, now she can do a smooth apology and a cheerful introduction to other Sims. Um, honestly, I think, like, it's not actually in the rules of this generation to max out charisma, but I think it is going to actually play hand in hand, if I remember right, with the politician career. Um, it also just helps you get a bunch of, you know, boyfriend and girlfriends very quickly, and so that's also a big part of it. Um, I guess maybe I'm just going to tell her to come and nap a little bit more. I don't know. I hate that she's awake right now. Um, Diego. I really just want a money tree, but I don't know how quickly we're actually going to be able to afford that with the, um, Diego's points. I think we'll be able to before, like, they are dead though, like before Diego passes. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to use his aspirational points for a money tree.
Okay, I think we can probably, is any of this worth anything? Maybe we haven't been here long enough. Oh no, here's some stuff. Okay, we'll go ahead and come sell all. Oh, everything actually just popped up. We have a bunch of roses here as well. Okay, well Pepper is done with her shower. She's feeling playful. She is working five hours. She's gonna grab some food. Apparently I need to put some more lights out here for Diego um, and just the balcony in general because it's very dark out there. I don't really know why. I thought it was gonna be a bit brighter than that. Um, hi ladies, y'all are real cute. What, what y'all doing? I absolutely love, love this apartment. Just a couple of queens. I figured we could check really quick. Do we have bills? Show bill information. It will be 1200. They're not due yet, it seems. Because I'm pretty sure the one closest to our door is our mailbox. Anger management. Sometimes I just get so angry that I don't even know what to do. Um, do a workout or talk through it with someone. Um, I'm going to say talk through it with someone because she wants to be a politician. And that seems like it would be much more of the like, you know, conflict resolution. There you go. Uh, yeah, that seems like a politician thing. Like you would need to have a pretty good grasp on conflict resolution to be a politician. They are just honestly being the cutest little things this morning that they just, I think, possibly can be. They're just very happy with life, just sitting here enjoying breakfast. Ruby's like, I'm gonna sit everywhere in this house and just envoy. envoy. I can't talk today, obviously, but she's just enjoying all of the, the red everywhere. She's like, yeah, this is my place, you guys. I don't know if you knew it but um, I'm liking it. I'm liking all the red. Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty ready for everyone to just go to school and go to work because that, that's about it. That's all I got. Like, we just need to make some more friends. We need another boyfriend or girlfriend for Ruby, but at the very least, we did get one. Now we just need to go on a date. Two dates, actually. Um, but here we go. It is time for school, which means it's almost time for work. I'm probably going to do a pretty big jump cut to honestly get us. Oh, she's in here doing voodoo actually. Oh, she's like playing with that voodoo doll all on her own. All on her own. <gasps> what is this? Voodoo backfired. The power of karma compels you to reap what you sow. And so as she's feeling flirty or playful, stale surroundings from her materialistic trait. Huh. I wonder what voodoo like she was doing that backfired. I feel like, I, I don't know. I also don't know why she has like a bar above her head. That's, it just seems like it's glitched out. Uh, but she was working two hours and really, really, really hopeful that she will get a promotion today. Um, he has work in four hours. Don't really care if he gets a promotion or not. We're honestly like doing good on money in this family too. So it's really not that big of a deal for us to um, maybe just like let him quit his job at some point. Um, if I guess if we need him. But we're gonna go and tell her to make friends. Who is calling? Hunter Smiley! He's now harassing our teenage daughter. I actually cannot deal with him. Okay, well, yeah, I'm pretty much gonna do a pretty big massive jump cut just to the end of the school day and the work day and everything. I just want to see if Pepper is gonna get a promotion. Um, and then I guess I'll update you guys if we happen to meet anyone notable at school for Ruby. Oh, stressed teacher. The teacher has run out to pick up his medication, so he asked the class to sit quietly and do their reading assignment. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just say do the reading because Ruby wants to be a politician. She's trying really hard to keep her head down in school and stuff like that, so I think she would be the type of kid 
that would just do the reading. Oh, Sentiment Gain, do you know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories. We'll make many more, I am sure of it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. She got, Ruby got a small performance gain. Uh, she took the time to focus, do the reading. She finished the reading early and then got to do her homework as well. And then Pepper, go to work by yourself. I'm no longer going with you. I don't care. I just don't care about your work day anymore. Work hard. Work hard, get that promotion. Okay, and then Diego, my dude, honestly, like you have work in like an hour or two, two hours. Um, okay, we got food here. We've got the maid here. Okay, well, he's doing pretty good. No, no scholarships. Um, we just got a notification about uh, scholarships and I, I'm not sure that I want to do university for uh, Gen 2. Um, I want to do university at some point, but I just don't know when. And I really like the idea of just like grinding out the politician career and like this kind of idea that she does a bunch of grunt work. She is the coffee like errand girl. She's running around getting everyone's lunch orders like basically pulling her hair out. And this is probably pretty realistic uh, for like female politicians uh, or female attorneys, anyone that's like working in a suit and tie kind of business for um, women, I guess you could say, uh, that the, the whole pay gap and stuff like that is very, very real um, in real life. And so I think the idea of her like just not going to college because she just really wants to like grind it out. Uh, she met Malcolm while at school. Okay. Okay. Uh, go to work. Go, go, go. Everyone is at work and at school and yeah, we're, we're doing it. We're grinding it. All right. Well, um, this is our apartment building here, but I more so just kind of wanted to like see some city views for a moment. Hi, Stan, my shoe now. Oh, top of the charts. Um, Diego has an award-winning column called Top of the Charts. That is the trendsetter for what's in. He wants to add some spice, so he needs a controversial top choice this week. What should he peg for number one? Drip coffee or decaf ma ma machi? Um, drip coffee, I've never heard of that. Um, he proclaims a drip coffee is the top of the chart, which is bold as the brew itself. Initial responses are hot and firing in the favor of the proclamation and Diego's column sees an uptick in traffic. So he got a medium performance gain from that. Ruby, it's the weekend. She wraps up with a C. Um, she met Juniper while at school also. She also met Malcolm and Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi? Mmm, I have honestly really wanted to get Kiyoshi involved in one of my Let's Plays and I kind of love the idea of her getting involved with Kiyoshi. Um, I know that Claire did that with her. I think it actually was her Gen 2. Or was it her Gen 3? Um, I can't remember, but I did like binge get caught up on her Not So Berry and I've been like watching her Not So Berry for the last couple months. Um, and I, I'm just obsessed. I love Not So Berry challenges in general. I follow so many on Instagram and stuff. So yeah, not to get off topic, but I just, I love the Not So Berry challenges and I, I like to try and keep mine a bit different, Ooh, not original because it's The Sims, so there's only so many storylines I feel like you can play out. But I have really wanted Kiyoshi to get involved in one of my Let's Plays, so I don't know. He doesn't have to be in game by any means, but maybe he can be the father to our children because I kind of like his genes. He kind of cute. Okay, so she made some friends though at school, right, 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 okay. Can we invite anyone over? I'm gonna go ahead and actually invite over Kiyoshi. And then, I don't really know, like, like I'm saying, I just don't know if he could be in game by any means, or maybe we just, just kind of enjoy his company for right now. Like, I don't, I don't know. 
Uh, Akira's at our door apparently. Kiyoshi just walked straight in. He's just gonna sit down and get straight to talking yeah, to our girl. So well, hi, hi, yes, I met you at school today, you remember? Oh, wait, I just went right to romance. Um, ask about his day. She's like asking about his school day, you know, like how's, how's your friends, how's your life? I love living in the city, it's so fun. Uh, maybe brighten his day. We'll behave though for you. Get to know. <laughs> no. Maybe compliment his outfit. Just, Shines. you know, really lay some charisma things, charismatic Double. stuff on him, you know, Double. flatter him. He's adventurous. <laughs> well, we do love politics. Oh. Not adventurous at all, but why not, you know? Uh oh, I hear the song of my daughter's movie, which means that. She is uh, about done with that movie. I think it means that it's ending up, which honestly is good timing. Um, Pepper is almost done with her work day and I'm really just hoping that her work day goes good. I would love for her to get a promotion, but I don't wanna check like her actual performance bar. I'm kind of afraid. So I'm just gonna wait for her to get home and see how it goes. Give relationship advice, share photos maybe. Uh, Diego's actually feeling playful up here. Oh, because he's in the bath. Okay, well, we're just sharing pictures. We're just, just making friends. Oh, he just, <laughs> he's sharing photos back with her. Oh, Darling is letting us know that the Spice Festival is in, uh, in town. <gasps> she did not get a promotion. Oh, okay. Well, fine i guess we can check and see okay well she'll definitely get promoted in the next part um okay well that's it that that's it level seven for the rest of our lives we'll just never be anything more than level seven of the scientist career uh because pepper does not does not like me jk i love pepper and i think that she loves me too but i am i'm ready to be done with her career so in the next part we will do as much grinding out of her career as we can uh definitely get one promotion maybe two i doubt it i just simply doubt it um but i am going to go ahead and wrap this part up here before my daughter gets emotional herself i'm pretty sure her new movie is over oh that is darling oh, she does live right next to us realizations oh my gosh is she knocking on our door oh no she is knocking wait no she's just reading the bulletin right outside of our thing and who is dario kelly i don't know who that is okay well i'm gonna go ahead and cut it here guys thank you so so much for stopping by if you have any thoughts or comments or anything like that about um ruby's story who we should maybe get pregnant with accidentally pretty quickly whenever she does turn into a young adult i just kind of want to have who it is picked out and in mind so whenever she ages up we can like get pregnant immediately because of the whole gen one needs to be friends with gen three thing and i don't want for pepper to die too soon so that is kind of the uh, the pressing issue there oh and right 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 i did give her this new outfit here um i gave her this dream home decorator thing a thing i think she looks so cute in it so yeah i hope you guys like her look here I just think she looks so cute in this outfit and I I had to add it so it's one of her everyday looks so we should see it pretty often uh, but yeah thank you guys take care out there and I will catch y'all in the next one bye